guys. It's a little behind the scenes. Uh, it's before the press conference. The wind here at the State Fair of Texas got a little bit uh, into the action and almost unveiled the truck before it actually was officially unveiled at the press conference. So what would you need to build the ultimate off-road concept truck? Well, why not start with a proven off-road concept like the Ram Rebel? Add some really cool and badass side exhaust pipes. Of course, you got to make it wider. How about adding some 37 tires and King Racing shocks? And of course, under the hood, well, under the hood of this, you got to put in a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi and call it the Ram Rebel TRX. And coming up right now, we're going to let you hear this truck and we're going to tell you everything you ever want to know. We were tasked with designing a truck that was fully functional um, and it was something, frankly, we've really never done before. We took a Ram, turned all the knobs up to 11 on its off-road capability, go fast, widen the track six inches. We've got 37-inch Toyos, 13 and a half inches wide. Um, suspension's got 13 inches of clean travel on it. Uh, it, it, was, it was a whirlwind project, but it turned out awesome. What was your starting point? Was it the tires, the suspension, the engine? I mean, what did you build the truck around? Well, to be honest, um, about two and a half years ago, yeah. when we were designing the Ram Rebel, right. uh, this truck was always sort of um, lurking in the back of our minds, you know? And so there are a lot of elements on the Ram Rebel that made its way into this truck. We just were able to take the, take the shackles off and really uh, express the off-road capability of this truck in in a way where you know it, it just telegraphs that that uh, that capability that go fast capability now Jim said that one of the goals was to have a truck that could drive hundred miles an hour off-road yes so have you actually driven at hundred miles an hour off -road? <clears throat> um, I have driven it very quickly okay. off-road I <laughs> I don't want to say too much right. um, but it is awesome I mean it is like a I liken it to like a 575 horsepower magic carpet. I mean, the thing just, it's- Eats up the bumps? Oh yeah, yeah, it's smooth. Uh, the suspension is compliant, it's not spongy, and the truck is totally predictable. So for a vehicle that was developed in the time frame that we did it, just for this concept, um, it handles amazing. Obviously one, one of the signature features of the truck are kind of the side pipes that come out, you know. Yeah, where did that the come side from? dump yeah. exhaust. Um, you know, we just thought it was cool. These trucks always have um, some sort of a, a, a sill protection. You know, you wanna, you wanna protect the bottom of the truck from stone blast. And so we always think about that. We thought, well, you know, wouldn't it be cool to really uh, telegraph the power of the truck by just integrating a side dump exhaust in it. And man, as you guys heard earlier, it just sounds incredible. It's, it's awesome. It really uh, is cool. I like the integrated six-point seat belt that you put not only in the front but in the back as well. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, Ryan Nagoti yeah, uh, and that. and yeah. also Everard worked on that. They sketched that up, and uh, it's cool. It kind of reminds me of like it, because it's a it, this is a, a crew cab uh, configurated truck. It's almost like a, a roller coaster. You know, you've got a few seats everywhere. Everybody gets to enjoy the ride, so. And I gotta ask, obviously, did you benchmark the Raptor at all? Was that something that was kind of up on the wall when uh, you were we, doing this? We really, we really weren't, uh, we weren't thinking about the competition really in that way. We, we really just were, um, we were trying to think about what the ultimate off-road Ram would be. And so, you know, I think this truck is sort of, ontologically its own uh, its own vehicle and and I think it stands on its own quite well uh, and I gotta ask will you build it <laughs> <laughs> at this point there aren't any plans this is just a concept all so. right and you were telling me earlier that you had it running around the Chelsea proving grounds yeah yeah we, we were uh, doing some last-minute photography and um, it was awesome. What a cool experience. I mean, yeah, the I mean, thing it's got, really... It's got 575 horsepower. Absolutely. It's going to put out a lot of heat. 
It puts out loads of heat. Um, we've Extra actually got, right? yeah, we've got functional heat exhausters. I mean, this hood, part of the, the fun of designing a truck like this is that you've got the form following function. So you've got, um, you've got your LED uh, clearance markers here. You've got your, uh, for, for the extra width, obviously, anything over 80 inches, you've got to have clearance yep. lamps. Um, you have a functional uh, set of uh, forward heat exhausters on the hood. You've got functional rear center heat exhauster. You've got functional ram air up front feeding that big motor. Um, and then you've got all of this cooling here for the charge air cooler, for the, all the heat exchanges that the truck requires. I um, like these LEDs, those are really You've sharp. got some, some very sharp LEDs. You've got anodized uh, accents all over the truck. So we've got this beautiful, uh, deep, rich red paint, and then we yes. haven't- Kind of classic candy apple. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing just looks incredible in the sunlight. It is awesome. It is really something to behold. Do you know the approach to departure angles? On this, it's yeah. uh, it's 36 degrees up front, yeah. Yeah. and the rear. I think we were somewhere in that neighborhood. So let's talk about the features. Integrated toolkit. Integrated toolkit. Absolutely, we've got uh, uh, functional toggle switches for various operations in the truck. We have a, a terrain selector knob, which changes the uh, four-wheel drive setting on the truck depending on what terrain you're driving across so it's part of the the go fast uh, nature of the truck so you like got snow you got sand you got desert yeah. yep you've got rock crawling at the very at the very last here so um, notice paddle shifters yeah paddle shifters uh, absolutely we've got a race inspired steering wheel uh, we have rear locker on this truck uh, just for that extra bit of traction when you're when you're in the loose stuff um, We've obviously got a, a pretty GoPro mount. GoPro mount, yeah. <laughs> yep, absolutely. You can't have a GoPro mount, man, when you're flying across the desert. Yes, absolutely. And we've got these cool uh, just release straps. They're they're kind of racy, and um, they just add to the uh, to the overall feel of the truck inside. Oh, um, this little uh, plaque up here too. Yep, yeah. that gives you all your kind of main specs up here. So, you know, you're talking uh, engine specs. You've got your trans specs. You've got your suspension travel, the bypass shocks are called out, 13 inches of travel, and then obviously the 37 inch tires, which, uh, you know, part, part of that, the fun of, of stuffing a 37 inch tire in a truck uh, means that you've got to just like wrap that body work way out and it just creates a lot of really cool body side drama. Yeah, it gives you that classic Coke bottle yep, shape, right? Yep, there, the just, Coke bottle, the yeah. hourglass, um, it just, the thing looks like a predator, you know, when it's when it's running down the road, it's it's ready to pounce. And have so. you had it? I, I noticed it's got an eight speed. Have you had it all the way up to eighth? <laughs> I keep asking. I but. can't. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> You're just holding on. Huh? Yeah, I was holding on, making sure the thing was going straight. But it was actually, it's it's a, it's just a phenomenal truck to drive. There is one big question that still needs answering, and that is, will they build it? And that, of course, depends on the business case and perhaps on you. Of course, here's the biggest question. Like maybe half hour ago, I was talking to the Ford guys, right? And there's a Raptor right there. It's cantilevered over their stand. And I was asking them, why do you think no one has come out and started competing with you directly? And they were kind of scratching their heads and they were saying, you know, Raptor's got the highest resale. We saw a boatload of them. And I think the numbers are really staggering. Like one out of 10 F-150s was a Raptor. So that puts it in the number of about 45,000 a year. Will you build this? Will you go out and compete with the guys across the street? Well, I, I don't know if we can even say 100 horsepower is more is competing, but you know, it, it actually is, it's neat with 575 horsepower and all the, the suspension geometry to really back up you know, 100 mile per hour off-road uh, super truck. You know, it's it's something that we're going to really pay attention to what our customers say and what you guys say, and and, uh, and we'll take it from there. So obviously, there's not a lot of room to haul dirt bikes, but you do have uh, two spare tires back here. Right, right. I mean, this this uh, setup is really for spare tires, and yeah. you know, it's the old saying. Um, uh, as far as spares go, uh, two is one, one is none. So we're going to have two spares in here to make sure that you've got some way to get home should you blow a tire. We've actually got an awesome little uh, jack uh, compartment that you can store the jack in and that thing flips up. You've got your jack, you've got your tires, everything's very compact, loaded toward the center line of truck so the weight distribution's good. Um, you know, and actually it was, it was actually a very fun thing to just design a cool looking roll bar for the truck. You've got a, a light mount up top, um, 
you know, you're doing night driving. It's it's a it's a cool. Well, let's let's uh, let's let's pop this open. What about the suspension? What shocks? Yeah, talk, talk to us about the suspension. Yeah. So the shocks are uh, they're bypass king shocks, two and a half inch. Heart of the beast. Yeah, look at that. Yep. So you were saying we have a functional um, functional sorry, yeah. ram air intake. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Yep. So I, I, I mean, would, it's. I, I would think obviously this is. A, I know you guys don't want to use the word, but I'll use the word right. It's basically the same leader as a Hellcat engine. It's it, supercharged. Yep, same. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. But, but um, obviously set up for a truck. Well, it's it's calibrated totally differently. Yeah. Um, so it makes different numbers. It's mated to a different transmission. Um, and so we, we don't really, you know, we're, we're, we're calling it a 6.2 liter supercharged engine, which is exactly what it is. Um, you know, it's, it's something that's different than, than what's in some of the, um, some the cars. So, so some of the Hellcats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has got to be a massive air filter in here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we borrowed some parts and pieces from our friends at SRT and, uh, and were able to, we were able to make it work. It was an interesting, uh, process shoehorning this uh, this supercharger in and everything else it we had to really far back too yeah yeah and actually it's really good for weight distribution we didn't yeah. want to move it any further forward right. um, so it, it sits on the shock uh, motor mounts we had to do uh, a okay. little a little bit of modification of the firewall back in there so um, well I hope um, I hope that I get at some point at least get a ride in this bad boy because <laughs> uh, it's exciting when there's a new off-road truck and it's specifically very exciting when there's one that's this capable absolutely this absolutely yeah um, you know I I've I've heard rumors that they may do some dynamic events somewhere down the line uh, at well, some there, other there shows. Might be a chance so. that we can actually get get some ride time. Or yeah, drive hopefully, time. Yeah. hopefully. Let us know in the comments below if you like this and if Ram should build it. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com, and of course, click over here, to subscribe, and over here for the next video. And I'll see you next time from the State Fair of Texas. Ciao.